All right. Our process. Yeah. At uh, Markowski Investments and, and the Watchdog on Wall Street Show, things that we've been trying to teach uh, for decades now. Um, we're going to be talking about basic fundamentals um, over the next couple of weeks, because guess what, guys? I'm going on vacation. Yeah, I'm going to be checking in uh, and doing some regular podcasts while I'm away, much to my wife's chagrin. She's none too happy. None too happy when I do that. But I'm like, what's the big deal? I do it before you guys even get up in the morning. So I, I will be checking in. Um, I, I, again, people, if I, if I take a day off, if I miss a day, if I miss a day, where were you? It's, I feel like, uh, you know, um, the Richard Dreyfus character and what about Bob? And Bob Wiley's chasing him down. He's like, I'm on vacation. I'm on vacation. Sometimes I'm not even on vacation. Sometimes I get, I miss a flight or something like that. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to do a bunch of, fundamental based uh, podcasts in regards to what we do uh, at Markowski Investments. And again, things that we have been teaching for decades. And I, again, I want to remind everybody, um, this is not wisdom that I have come up with. This is just what works. And I made this perfectly clear. Um, to quote my uh, my younger brother, Matthew, and I've talked about Matthew on the program. Many of you are familiar with him. He's a mathematical guy. As a kid, um, he had this phrase whenever you argue with him. He's like, I'm right, you're wrong. I'm right, you're wrong. It's Matt Markowski. That's his quote right there. Um, we're right. Everybody else is wrong. Not everybody else. Um, the people that we follow, um, again, we all do the same thing. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's no big secret. There's no big secret in regards to being a successful investor and building wealth over time. And that's one of the things that we've tried to get across. Anyway, neither here nor there. Our, our process. Um, it's been some time now. It's got to be almost. I, I put out a rules of the road. Oh, boy. It had to be maybe 20 years ago. 20 years ago, I did a column on it. And I, I added to it. To some degree, you know, you, you live and learn and life. But our, our original rules to the road, real simple. This is what you need to do to be a successful investor. Compounding the royal road to riches. Again, play with a compounding calculator. Understand how you have to understand the mechanism, how it works. I couldn't tell you what the formula is. Just know that it is magic. It's real life magic. Do it yourself, okay? Google it, start playing around with it, and see what type of wealth you can build for yourself over time. That's what works. The bulk of stock market returns throughout history have been due to, believe it or not, dividends and compounding those dividends over time. Number two, number two, simple, simple. Why are we masters? Master the obvious, Markowski. Don't lose money. I mean by don't lose money is you never let risk lead to ruin. You protect your downside. You take massive losses in a portfolio. It can take a, a decent amount of time to make them back. So you don't lose money, meaning guess what? Um, you don't speculate unless you can afford to speculate. If you can't afford to gamble, don't gamble. I, I, so I can't stand this all the whole time. I, I can't go into casinos. I can't. I can't. I, I, it, 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 they give me the willies. They give me the willies. When I see people, and again, I, when I see people at slot machines pumping you know, money into slot machines, knowing that these people can't afford to be doing what they're doing, I, I, I can't. I can't handle it. It gives me agita. So again, okay, don't speculate unless you can afford to speculate. And what I mean by speculate, if, if I see something, say for, for my portfolio, okay, um, that I think is interesting, but I know that there's a lot of risk involved, okay, whatever I put into that, I'm already already assuming that I've lost it. Already assuming. So I, it's no big deal, okay? I took a chance on that. And, you know, if I make money on it, I make money. If I lose money, that's... That to me is speculation. Okay. Invest like a multimillionaire. 
again, um, do, do you think when you've seen the markets um, move, the violent movements, let's just say over the past week, um, do you think really wealthy people are bent out of shape? You think they're, they're checking their apps, their Robin Hood accounts, um, looking to see what they can move and groove around? No. No. Um, there's that uh, great line. Great line by J.P. Morgan, and I'm I'm paraphrasing. Okay, I think it's not exact. He said, um, "During bear markets, stocks return to their rightful owners." Now, what did what did he mean by that? Um, well, it's kind of like almost like a. It is. It's 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 very much as like I own you type of a moment. What he, what he's saying is, is people do stupid stuff, and uh, I'll just take advantage of it. In essence. And he's not wrong. He's not wrong. It happens all the time. You know, most human beings buy high, sell low. Don't do that. Wealthy people don't do that. You want to become wealthy? Actually act like you're already wealthy when it comes to your finances. And of course, again, this is master the obvious. Buy assets on sale. Now, again, you're never, ever going to get in at the exact bottom. You're never going to get out at the exact top. Just doesn't work that way. You got to understand, you got to take a look at what the value is and where you see this company's value 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years down the road. And don't fret. Don't fret, okay? If you get into something, oh, geez, it goes down a little. You, you just got to know what the value is. So you're looking to buy things on sale. Um, simple rules, right? And again, I'm, I'm a big fan of simplicity. Big fan of simplicity. I like things that that work, that make sense, that are simple and easy. Um, hey, that pretty much made Apple Computer pretty successful as well. Um, there's an old saying saying that uh, successful investing is like getting oneself in great shape. Simple, but not easy. So the one, two, the two things that I expanded on, and I, I put this in a column about uh, five, six years ago, is um, it's a change. Some of the, it's also your your mindset, your mindset if you want to be a successful investor. One of the, the important things, it's it's not important. You need to realize this. It is not important to be right in the here and now, but it's important to be right. Eventually, if that makes any sense. Um, what conventional wisdom says is the greatest investment today, more often than not, a lousy investment in the future. Can you take a look at all the disruptor companies from not too long ago? Um, markets are not efficient. Markets are not efficient over the short term. Um, many of the, the calls that we've made, uh, man, yeah, people go back, they'll look at our website, they'll, they'll see some of the columns that I've written and the things that we've called, and whether it be Enron and dot-com collapse and the Great Recession and, and all of these things that we've called over the years. And, oh, you guys were right. I was like, yeah, we were right, eventually. And yeah, I, I, we, we called Enron, but over the next year, the stock went straight up until it didn't. So again, that's the the you know what you need to understand. And but by knowing that, by knowing that, you have to have a couple things. You got to have patience. You got to have patience to know that okay, this is my this is my process. It's my process. This works. And again, this stuff's applicable in everything in life. Okay, applicable in everything in life. You want to be a great basketball player, and you're going out there every day. And you're, you're taking, you know, 500 jump shots. You're taking, you know, how many free throws? You're doing all the layups. Go back and watch those Larry Bird workouts or Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan. The process that they go through, the don't deviate the work that they put in. Same thing. You need to have patience, but then as well, because guess what? You got chattering classes everywhere. You're going to be bombarded with news. So you got to have a little courage as well, patience and courage to stand in the face of the chattering classes. It's a um, simple process, people, but it works. 
Watchdog on Wall Street dot com.